which founder's house is still one of the most important political meeting spots in New York City. Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is a man named Archibald Gracie. Now, you may not know Archibald Gracie, but if you live in New York City, you probably know his house. Gracie actually sat out the American Revolution because he was born in England and grew up and was living in London as a merchant when he decided to move to the United States. This was just after the Constitution was ratified and he saw opportunity. First, he spent some time in Virginia where he worked as a tobacco trader, but then he quickly moved to New York City where he established several important instruments, uh, organizations that are instruments of finance that we still use today. He, was, he started a company called the Tontine Association. And this was one of the early stock trading companies on Wall Street. Furthermore, he went on to start the Eagle Fire Insurance Company and New York Insurance Company. And these were two early insurance companies. There had been insurance companies around at the time, but these were more modern type insurance companies where you pay in on a monthly or annual basis. And should you have a fire in your house or some other kind of catastrophe, well, they would reimburse you for your troubles. Furthermore, he spent about 25 years as vice president of the New York City Chamber of Commerce. Additionally, he started, and this is the most important part, he started several banks, but one was called the New York Bank for Savings. And the New York Bank for Savings is very interesting because at this point, banks mostly advertised to clientele that had a lot of money to invest so that there would be more interest and everyone could make more money. But the New York Bank for Savings was the first bank in America that was targeted towards clients that were poor. And it was the first time that your average citizen could, instead of saving money literally in their house or under their bed, they could put their money in a bank to be saved where it was safe. And additionally, for the first time, they could get interest on their savings. Imagine that. And now, of course, today this is very common, as are insurance companies, as are stock trading companies. And he was on the forefront, uh, Archibald Gracie was on the forefront of all of these things. And, and uh, he made a lasting effect, not just on New York City, but on the United States. Now, your opinions of the stock market uh, are, are up for you to decide whether or not you are happy with what he did, but uh, like it or not, he certainly had this effect on the nation. And with all his found fortune, he built a gigantic house and it became known as Gracie Mansion. And if you're from New York City, you probably know the name Gracie Mansion because that house is still around today. And actually the person who lives in it is going to be the sitting mayor of New York City. Yes, Archibald Gracie's mansion is currently the mayor's house for New York City. Again, your current politics for <laughs> whether or not you like the mayor of New York City uh, doesn't matter here because it's still a very nice house and still some of the most important pol political discussions in New York take place in that household. And it's extra interesting because when Gracie built this mansion, he had many political conversations there. And many of his friends came to visit, including one of his closest friends, John Jay, but another close friend and sometimes business partner, Alexander Hamilton. And rumor has it, though this can't really be confirmed, but it's rumor has it that it was at Gracie's mansion that Alexander Hamilton started the New York City Post, or the New York Evening Post, I apologize. So... That's the story of Archibald Gracie and his mansion. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, please hit like. Uh, if you're new here, definitely subscribe by clicking my logo over here. And uh, there's a video over here that you might be interested in too. So I will see you with another founder tomorrow.